Hey everyone, it's Rob. I want to take a few minutes to um, talk to you, do this little video thing about uh, my fitness and weight loss. Um, it's sort of an update. Um, as many of you know, especially those of you who read my blog or may know me in person, since January of 2010, I have uh, been trying to get healthier, lose a lot of weight, um, get myself really in shape. Um, you know, I'm 36 years old, and for most of my life, I've been a big person. And it really climaxed in January of this year when I weighed 342 pounds. I was fat. Something had to change. I did not want to lead, live uh, the next 36, 40, 50 years, 60 of my life being that big. Um, it really limited uh, what I could do. I didn't feel like uh, making friends because you know, I always was self-conscious, um, many things. So I decided to change my life, and um, it's been an interesting journey. And so this is sort of an update on where we are in that journey. It's uh, August 3rd, 2010, so it's been eight months since I started. Started 342 pounds, and as of today, I'm down to 286 pounds. So uh, how did I do it? Um, a couple things. <clears throat> Most importantly is I started getting out and uh, exercising. Um, you can't lose weight and get fit um, by sitting around. Um, I spent way too much of my life in front of a computer screen, in front of the TV, and in front of the video game console. And uh, unfortunately, that really, uh, it's good to watch TV now and then. It's good to play video games now and then, and uh, computers make our lives really easy. But we can't spend our entire lives in front of these devices. We have to get active. Um, so I joined our local YMCA. Um, I'm in Boonville, Missouri. We're lucky to have a very good YMCA here. Um, so I go between five and six days a week, and I do two things. Cardio, uh, treadmill, you know, mostly. Uh, about 3.5 to 3.6 miles per hour at between a uh, varying between a 5% and a 12% incline. So I do sort of the interval stuff. So you know, the heart rate gets up, it goes down, up, down, which I say is really good for you. Um, so I do that between five and six days a week for a half an hour. Then I also do some weight training, free weights, uh, machine. Uh, I started that recently, um, and I do that for about. Roughly after the cardio, 15 to 20 minutes. I don't do that every day of the week though, or the five to six days, because you have to let your muscles repair themselves. Muscles grow when you know, they basically tear and your body repairs them. So what I'll do is like on Mondays, I'll do the upper body, Tuesdays, lower body, uh, Wednesdays will be a day off the weights. Thursdays I'll go in, mix up a little, maybe do some midsection work, uh, maybe some more upper body. Friday, maybe another day off, depends. Um, and then Saturday, um, I'll go in there and uh, maybe do the lower body again. So I, I go through this. Uh, I, you know, I try to mix it up, try different things. Um, and it's really working. And I'm very proud of where I'm at. Second part was changing, of course, your diet. Um, you know, we all like, you know, Julia Child once said, one of the greatest joys of life um, was uh, food trying different things. Uh, apparently this fly in here thinks I'm a good source of food. <laughs> um, but what Julia Child meant by that, uh, I believe, is that you should try a different variety of food. Experiment. Try different things. If you go somewhere, try the local cuisine. But you don't have to eat at all. Um, and don't um, indulge. Don't overeat. Um, so, you know, I've been watching my eat keeping track of you know, what's good, what's bad, getting rid of the bad fats on my diet, incorporating the good fats, changing things around. Um, you know, and a good example is, you know, um, I tend now to uh, uh, eat more, um, if I do eat meats, it's more of a chicken, a protein meat, versus a uh, fattier red meat. Um, and I do like a lot of meals without any meat in it at all. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a big pasta lover, I love pasta. So you know, I don't subscribe to these fad diets. Um, I'm sorry, I don't believe, and my doctor doesn't believe they work. Um, you should eat what you enjoy, because if you don't eat what you enjoy, you're not going to stick to it. Um, 
So, you know, I tried these fat diets all my life, but, you know, I'm sorry, I like pasta, and, I, you know, I like some breads. And to say you can't have carbohydrates, or you can't have this, or you can't have that, you're going to fail. Just watch what you're eating. Keep track of it. Do a food diary. Um, even an Excel spreadsheet or just a notepad and write it down. Um, there's a number of tools you can do online uh, to see what you, uh, your basic maintain, what, what your body needs to maintain your current weight. Uh, according to the tools I use, and there's many of them, you can do a, a search uh, online for these. Um, I need about 3,200 calories a day just to maintain. Of course, you know, at 286 pounds, you know, of course I'm going to need more than, uh, you know, probably someone who's 156 pounds. Um, so what I try to do is I try to keep my intake around 2,200 to 2,300 a day. Because, you know, that gives me uh, about a 900 calorie deficit, but that doesn't take into account all the exercise and, you know, other stuff I'm doing. So I feel very good that I am uh, doing a, cal a caloric deficit uh, that fits me. I'm not hungry, you know, I'm not going around going, oh God, I'm so hungry, I just want something to eat. No. Um, you know, if you're going to snack on something, you know, let's face it, it's good to eat snacks during the day. It keeps your metabolism going. But you don't need to be eating the chips and the cookies and the cakes. And I know where I work, uh, you can see it on my shirt, uh, Carfax, which is a uh, very good company, by the way. You know, if you're buying a used car, please get a Carfax report. It's really, uh, they could really save you. Um, you know, we have a lot of uh, celebrations, so we have cakes and sweets and all that stuff. You know, it's not that I don't eat it. You know, I'm not going to sit there and go, "Oh God, I'm not eating that cake." Oh, no, no. You can have a small piece of cake. That's fine. You know, and but you don't have to have it every time. There's so many times I go, "Yeah, you know, I know, I had some last week, and I, I really don't think. You know, I'm going to eat my banana." eat some almonds, things of that nature. Um, so you know, just watch what you're putting in your body. Um, be conscious. Stay away from the fast food restaurants. Um, McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, those are not good for you. Um, I have tons of recipes, some are on my blog, uh, about good things you can uh, make at home that really taste good and uh, are good for you. Black bean burgers. Oh, I have a wonderful recipe for black bean burgers I'm going to post. I think you guys will love it. So, you know, working out, watching what I eat, and getting more social. Um, I'm trying to make more friends uh, in the community. Um, you know, I live in a small town. I do work in a larger town, so uh, I have a geographical area. So I'm just trying to reach out there, find more friends, more things to do. Um, you know, I like to be outside. I like working on cars. I like to go camping. So I'm trying to find, you know, more friends that maybe want to do this. Uh, so I'm building this uh, network. Of instead of sitting here doing nothing, I have people to go do stuff with. And that's very important when you're losing weight, I think, is to have that, that support network, the friends, the motivation. I have a lot of people at work that keep me motivated, uh, which is really good. It keeps my spirits up. It keeps me, you know, aiming for the prize. So, you know, I'm at 286 right now. You know, I still got a muffin top, so I still need, it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be, so I still need to, you know, get this down. My ultimate goal is to get down to 200 pounds. I believe that's going to give me a nice, healthy weight for someone, uh, you know, uh, of my body type. Uh, you know, good tone, good muscle, where I'm going to feel good about myself. Um, I believe it's going to take another year to do that. This is August of 2010. I believe it's going to take August 2011 probably to get down there. It's important to realize, and this is why so many people fail, I think, the weight takes time to come off. You didn't put this on in a day, so it's not going to come off in a week. You have to keep at it. Um, if you need motivation and you can't find a local support group or you know people nearby, drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to be your motivator uh, to encourage you. Um, you know, um, there's plenty of online communities that can help too. One of my favorites is uh, Men's Health online forums, uh, forums.menshealth.com great bunch of people. You can find a great bunch of tips on working out, cardio, diet, weightlifting, general health questions. Um, so, you know, reach out. Find that support network um, and make sure it's there for you. Uh, don't try to do it all. When you first go in that gym, and I know, I know it's hard to go to that gym the first time. Trust me, it was for me too. But I'm to the point now where if I miss a day, I feel bad. Um, I don't want to miss a day. I enjoy going to the Y. I have made friends at the Y. And if I, maybe I'm out of town, sometimes I travel for on, on my on business and stuff, and you know, I, I'm gone for a few days, 
you know, when I come back, they know I haven't been there. <laughs> and they, they want to know where I've been. And so they're encouraging me. And so it's great to have a support network. Um, so, you know, that's my story so far. Um, it's been an interesting journey. And um, I really look forward to the next year and keeping you guys updated on what's going on here. Um, so, you know, I think, personally, I'm looking better than ever. You know, I'm no, I'm no picture of health. Let's, let's make that clear. But I look a lot better now than I did in January. I feel better. I feel more confident in myself. Um, you know, it, it feels good to not be that heavy anymore. It feels good to have energy. It feels good to go out there and make new friends. So, um, you know, keep it up. If you haven't started, you know, start. Just, just take the first step. You know, join a gym. Uh, uh, start watching what you eat. Um, join some of these communities. Ask for advice. Send me an email. I'll be more than happy. You know, one-on-one. -on -one. You're not going to get a forum response from me. I'm going to actually take the time and I'm going to write back and say, hey, here's what I did. Here's something you can try. You know, if you're located in the mid-Missouri area, Boonville, uh, Columbia, Jeff City, uh, Moberly, um, uh, Sedalia, Marshall, um, feel free to get in contact with me. And, you know, maybe on the weekends we go out we can work out together. Or I can, I, you know, come on over and I'll show you some of my, you know, what I've done and give you some advice. Uh, you know, let's build that support network up. So, you know, I'll, you know that, that's my, um, how I'm doing so far. And I look forward to keeping you guys updated and um, I'll see you online. Take care and see you later.